was asked a question on YouTube and I felt like a video response was the best response because someone else might be wondering this exact same thing. So the question reads, I'm thinking about buying a rental property in Florida. What advice do you have, please? Okay, wonderful. So my advice uh, for anyone right now that wants to purchase rental property in Florida, um, I would say hold off, <laughs> especially if you are not a major corporation and you are just um, a regular person and you want to get into investing. Um, just honestly, right now, I personally do not believe it is the time to start off with a one rental property or two rental properties, um, unless you have the funds to uh, purchase a lot of real estate right now to rent out. I just do not believe that is the best thing to do, at least in the state of Florida. Um, I say this because right now homes in Florida are averaging at least $400,000, okay? And with interest rates being where they are, um, and once you add in taxes and you add in insurance, as well as the uh, maintenance on the home, you are looking at paying, and I'm just throwing a number out, $2,700 a month. $2,700 a month and that's on the good side okay and don't forget with investing you do have to pay at least 20% down okay um, when you are an investor there is no down payment assistance available so you will have to pay that out um, cash so that is something to think about now there are ways to invest right now in Florida that I would highly recommend um, short-term rentals in Florida at least Central Florida okay because that's where I know about short-term rentals because there are a lot of rules and regulations going on right now um, in 2020 2021 um, when vacation home rentals first sort of skyrocketed there were not as many rules and regulations but now a lot of HOAs do not want um, vacation home short rental properties within their community um, so that is something you will have to look for um, if you um, are looking to invest in, inside of a house so if you are looking to invest in a home that is located inside of an HOA community I would definitely check with that HOA to see if short-term rentals are allowed in that home um, now I say that to say there are cities that love vacation rentals and that is going to be Davenport and Kissimmee so if you're looking to invest in rentals right now in Central Florida, I would highly recommend instead of long-term rentals, go the short-term rental um, route. Um, it does make, it's very lucrative as well, especially in Central Florida, you have Disney and you know, during the summertime and winter time, you know, you're gonna have a lot of travel from in the winter. Uh, you have the snowbirds, we call them, people from up north, they like to come to Florida and they'll stay for a month or so. Um, oh, and I have to say something about that. Um, and then as far as in the summertime, you have a lot of people, especially from out of the country in Europe that come and they visit for, you know, a few weeks to a month at a time. Um, and I do wanna point out, with short-term rentals, you have to make sure you do not allow anyone to live in a home um, more than 30 days because that is when um, you go over the allowed time of a rental to still be considered short-term rental. And then you have a lot of other fees and state taxes and everything. Um, so be careful not to let anyone um, stay more than 30 days. I mean, I didn't say this, but somebody said this. Um, on my channel that looks just like me but <laughs> if someone's trying to stay more than 30 days you might have to say okay you have to go somewhere else for one day then come back um or we'll cancel that contract out and then we'll start a new contract out because you just want to make sure that you do not allow someone to stay more than 30 days in that short-term rental now that is my opinion on um rental properties in the state of Florida with a heavy emphasis on Central Florida um, because that's where I specialize as far as especially when it comes to investment property because trust and believe me every county every city everywhere is different when it comes to short-term rentals okay but at least in Central Florida 
if that is something you are really interested in, I would research short-term rentals and see if that is something that you are interested in. Now, there are pros and cons with that. You have to look at with short-term rentals. Um, a lot of those communities do have a lot of wonderful amenities. Like they have golf courses, basketball courses, resort style, um, swimming uh, pools, cabanas, all of this um, beautiful, um, these beautiful amenities that people from out of town would love, okay? Now, those amenities are gonna cost they cost um so you have to look at how much um each community is going to charge you for the amenities that are included in that um short-term rental community because they do in Kissimmee and in Davenport they have short-term rental communities okay now another thing about those communities is they do want a portion of their short-term rental income. So it could be 15, 20%, it all depends. So you definitely have to do your research. Um, and when you do your research, make sure that you are getting a return on your investment. Don't just jump and run into anything. Make sure it makes sense um, financially that you are definitely getting a return on investment, okay? Now, I do wanna say, if you're thinking about investing in Central Florida, we have a serious crisis right now with first time home buyers finding a home, okay? So I would highly recommend to look into becoming a rehabber or a flipper in Central Florida at least. Um, Homes are averaging, again, at like $400,000, a little over $400,000. So if you can control the market and, and fix homes up and place them back on the market at a, a, a price of two hundred eighty dollars to about three fifty, dollars you will sell that home within 30 days. No lie. There are so many people pre-approved for prices um, and they just cannot find the home. Okay? So... I would highly recommend, I know it looks fun to flip homes and you know, you get to um, rebuild a lot and demolish things and it looks so fun, get the hammer, blah, you watch HGTV, um, it looks fun. However, I believe in return on investments. So if this is something you would be interested in, I would highly recommend that you look into properties that just need a lipstick fix. What that is, a lipstick fix is a home that needs to be rehabbed that just has cosmetic issues. So you might have to replace the carpets, replace the flooring, um, paint the home, the lawn is a mess, so you might have to get a landscaper to fix the yard, or you might need to replace the cabinets for a kitchen upgrade. Those are the type of rehabs I highly recommend you uh, start. So um, that is my response to that question. This is Jake Kelly Sells Real Estate. I am a Central Florida Realtor. And if you have any real estate uh, questions or you're looking to buy and sell or buy or sell, just hit me up. You can text or call me at 689-229-8178. I look forward to helping you uh, talk those real estate goals and achieve those real estate goals. Alrighty, as always, be blessed.